welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i got these gorgeous results stay tuned first i'm starting off by brushing my hair just to remove any shedded hairs I then saturated my hair with water for a couple of minutes. I first went in with this medicated shampoo that I got from my dermatologist. I had this painful itchy spot on my scalp and I believe that I got it from using the Olaplex shampoo a few months ago and I did mention this in one of my wash and go videos that I had this itch that wouldn't go away but this product has helped tremendously with this issue and it has been the only product that has worked to calm down the pain that I was experiencing on my scalp. After scrubbing my hair with that shampoo, I left it in my scalp for about three to five minutes. And then I went in with my Herbal Essence Rose Hip Shampoo for my second shampoo. I absolutely love this product it smells so good and it leaves my scalp feeling super clean this product has worked better than any expensive shampoo that i have owned i was really enjoying this shampoo session like i was just going in and enjoying the smell enjoying the lather this just felt really good I then went in with the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. I've never used this product, but let me tell you guys, it is so thick and it smells so good. Even though I did use a lot of product, I was very heavy handed. You can't even tell I applied it to my hair. It kind of just melted in there. I typically detangle and then leave the hair mask in, but this day I decided to leave it in and then detangle my hair but next time i will definitely be detangling first and then leaving in the hair mask i like to detangle my hair under running water but this day i do not know why i didn't do that and i regretted it because <laughs> i was really struggling and i don't know my mind just wasn't working because i don't know why i didn't just put my head under the water and detangle it
there was this knot on this side of my head that just didn't want to come out like just watch me trying to remove this knot I finally got that knot out. <laughs> uh, it feels so good to have my hair fully detangled. I rinsed off the mask and my hair felt so silky and smooth and the smell really lasted on my hair i really really like the smell of this mask and i love the thickness of it definitely will be using it again For this week's hair straightening routine, I will be using the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother, the Fantasia Heat Protector, and the Cheek Keratin Silk Infusion. I first applied a few pumps of the Olaplex Number no. 6. I absolutely love this product for blow drying my hair. It definitely does give me smoother blow dry results. Like, this is a really good product. Is it worth $30? I don't know about that, but it is a good product. I also brushed the product through my hair just to make sure it was distributed evenly. I then went in with my heat protector. I sprayed it into my hands just because this is kind of oily and I don't want to get it everywhere. But if I were in the bathroom, I would just spray it onto my hair. Then I used a little bit of my serum, just a little bit. I don't want my hair to be way down. But this is what really gives me that silky result. Here I'm going in with my blow dryer and my unbrush. Absolutely love this brush. Guys, I know it looks like I'm struggling. It's because I am. I'm really trying to get the hang of using a brush and a blow dryer in the other hand. I typically use my Revlon paddle brush or my Tymo round brush, but I'm trying to stray away from those just because the bristles are bending and they're also very hard to clean. I cannot wet them, but my brushes, I can wash and I can wet the nozzle and I can wash the nozzle. So I'm really trying to practice on how to use this. This brush made this a lot easier. The coordination is just quite not there yet, but practice makes perfect last year or a couple years ago about a year and a half ago i couldn't even straighten my own hair like i would get so frustrated and here we are so i will get better at holding this blow dryer in one hand and the brush in the other not bad i think it came out pretty good for someone who's practicing time for the straightening part my divisions I'm still working on that to find out which partings work best for me. I feel like every time I straighten my hair, it changes a little bit. But as long as the end result comes out good, I'm happy. I believe my flat iron is on 410 degrees. Sometimes I use 390. Back in the day before my hair was heat damaged, I would need 450 or 455 to straighten my hair but right now i go between 390 and 410 and on this day i believe i used 410 i don't have a specific number of passes that i use i just go in until my hair comes out straight 
sometimes it could be one pass sometimes it could be up to five passes like it just depends on how my hair is coming out i definitely go over the roots more than once typically just because that's like the thickest part of my hair and that's the new growth by the way this is the remington flat iron the keratin infused one i absolutely love this flat iron it's ceramic i like this flat iron way more than my baby list pro this flat iron just gives me more shine i don't know i just this flat iron gives me better results i think i pay like 20 something dollars for this one and my baby list pro i believe at the time that i bought it it was 150 dollars and this one just works so much better in my opinion i didn't tell you guys that i shaved my edges and my nape because i felt like they needed a fresh start you know how you never trim those hairs well at least i never trim those hairs i decided to completely shave them off and when i tell you that i almost cried after i saw myself with bald edges but they're coming back pretty nicely they're coming back nice and full but yeah i i don't recommend you do that <laughs> the nape maybe but the edges don't don't shave your edges i i regret it you know it's, it's working out fine now but i regret it i'm also taking a break from edge control i gave away my edge controls the only thing i use edge control for now is for slicking down my eyebrows but i feel like edge control was also making my edges a little bit wonky so yeah staying away from the edge control and growing out my bald edges I got my hair cut in layers a couple of weeks ago just to mask the breakage that I got from that previous salon. Since those broken pieces are growing out, there's just a lot of unevenness. So the best way to mask it was by getting layers. But this lady gave me some real choppy layers. So I cannot wait to grow them out a little bit more so I can go get them fixed. When I left the salon that day, it looked so good. But then when I washed my own hair, I was like, oh my God, this is so uneven. This is so choppy. This looks crazy, but it's okay. It's, it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow. Now I'm gonna go in with my Olaplex number seven. Just a tiny bit, don't wanna do too much. But wow guys, look at these results. I just love doing my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.